Yeah. <laughs> Ezra chapter number four. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to pick up in the first verse this morning. We'll read down to verse number five. Ezra chapter number four, beginning in verse number one. And the word of God says this Now, when the adversaries of Judah and Benjamin <clears throat> heard that the children of the captivity builded the temple unto the Lord God of Israel, they came to Zerubbabel and to the chief of the fathers and said unto them, let us build with you, for we seek your God as ye do. And we do sacrifice unto him since the days of Azar Hadon, the king of Esau, which brought us up thither. But Zerubbabel and Yeshua and the rest of the chiefs of the fathers of Israel said unto them, You have nothing to do with us to build a house unto your God. But we will ourselves together build it unto the Lord God of Israel, as King Cyrus, the king of Persia, hath commanded us. Then the people of the land weakened the hands of the people of Judah and troubled them in building and hired counselors against them for, to frustrate their purposes all the days of Cyrus, king of Persia, even unto the reign of Darius, king of Persia. Let's pause for a word of prayer this morning. Heavenly Father, we do come before you, Lord, as we open your holy word. I pray, Lord, that you would use me as a vehicle for your truth. You would help me, Lord, again, as I often pray, Lord, that you would give me strength and my weakness, that you would help me, that you would use me. I ask, Lord, that your spirit would move amongst us all this morning and challenge us, uplift us, but whatever it is, Lord, whatever it is we're dealing with, whatever it is we're convicted over, whatever it is we're challenged over, whatever it is we're distressed over, Lord, will you minister into that situation this morning? Lord, we come here to worship you, to give you the preeminence, to hear from you, 